And in order to facilitate that training, uh, this morning, Sonny Williams worked to replace a remote power controller module in the lab that's needed to uh, power that robotic workstation. We got some video down earlier today of that work while it was underway that we can show to you right now. Sonny Williams uh, working in the uh, Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station to replace a remote power controller module. That's roughly a circuit breaker. It is a, a piece of equipment that uh, regulates power going to uh, various pieces of equipment. This uh, particular RPCM, as it's called, uh, was uh, tripped on Wednesday of this week. Several attempts were made uh, to reclose it, and it did stay closed for a while, and then uh, tripped again after 45 minutes or so. Teams here in Houston uh, determined that there had not been any high current event that uh, would explain why the uh, circuit was tripped, and the fact that uh, a closed RPCM trips in this way is in fact has been seen before it's a behavior that happens in a suspect RPCM that eventually will hard fail and since uh, this uh, the circuit was needed to power the robotic workstation in the lab that was going to be required for Monday's training uh, Williams was given the task today to go and replace that uh, RPCM with one of the spares that's on board, uh, which she did. She installed a new unit, but the ground was unable to get that unit to power up. And after some time, some study, We see Williams removing the uh, RPCM there and uh, checking the connections and on the spare unit to uh, be installed. She did this and uh, as I mentioned the ground was unable to get that new RPCM to uh, power up and uh, a while later Williams was uh, asked to remove that new RPCM and check the uh, connections to make sure there was no foreign object debris and uh, to make sure that it could be fully seated. There was none and uh, she proceeded to uh, reinstall it, the uh, same result. She was later asked to uh, go to the uh, Japanese uh, logistics module to uh, retrieve a second spare unit and uh, did so and installed that to uh, the same result. Again, no uh, no power was able to, to be applied uh, by the controllers here on the ground. After some additional uh, some additional study, the uh, teams asked Williams to remove that uh, second spare as well and reinstall the original RPCM that had been installed in that position and uh, put the two spares back in their stowage locations as they uh, continued to uh, evaluate the situation and to t determine what uh, to do uh, uh, subsequently. It's believed that they, uh, any, any additional attempt, uh, barring new inspiration, uh, won't be made until sometime next week. You're looking at uh, a replay of video from earlier this morning. The International Space Station Commander Sonny Williams working here underneath the robotic workstation in the Destiny Laboratory where she uh, did a repair, a replacement of a suspect remote power controller module which uh, helps route power to that robotics workstation. One of the uh, two workstations on board, the uh, primary place for operating the uh, robotic arm is located in the uh, cupola module and the uh, RWS here in the laboratory is generally used as a, a backup location. 
Now, a working RPCM here is required in order to get this workstation operational, but uh, the other one in the cupola is working just fine. The uh, robotics teams here in Houston are evaluating some possible adjustments to the training plan for Monday, uh, Monday's planned robotics training, uh, if the uh, lab RWS is not going to be found to be uh, able to be powered up. This RPCM task was uh, the last work for uh, Sonny Williams this morning prior to the start of the uh, scheduled rest period for uh, Shi Malenchiko and Hoshi Day. That, uh, that nap period is on the schedule to continue up until about uh, noon central time this morning. The Rest period in the middle of the day has been inserted today because the crew members are going to be up much later than their uh, usual sleep time today in order to support this afternoon's undocking of the automated transfer vehicle. Once the uh, crew members are awakened uh, just after noon this afternoon, they have a uh, their weekly conference with their uh, lead flight director here in Houston. That'll be followed by a short lunch break, uh, a post-nap snack, if you will. Then uh, crew members also have some time to uh, get in some of their daily exercise sessions before they move on to undocking preparations, ATV undocking preparations, including uh, further configuration of the station's communication systems and uh, setting up uh, cameras to uh, document the operation. Malenchiko and Hoshide will be uh, setting up in the Zvezda module to uh, monitor and send any commands as a